Hi guys, it's Amanda and Randy with Getting Their Green. Today we are going to be testing our pH level in our soil before using mulch on the garden. Hey guys, it's Amanda and Randy's behind the camera again. When is he going to get in front of the camera? I don't know. Well guys, today we're testing our pH levels in our garden bed and um, the reason I'm testing this is I'm curious if the wood, wood mulch uh, adds nutritional value, takes away nutritional value, screws up our pH, whatever. I'm just curious. So this bed here, we've just put the mulch down. Just now, minutes ago, except for this little area where I'm taking my soil sample from. Ideally, you would test this before you started putting the mulch down, but I just forgot. <laughs> All right, so what I've done, with a clean spoon, you'll want to use a, a clean spade, trowel, shovel, whatever to do this uh, because you don't want it contaminated with something else that it's touched that might have a different pH level. I'm using a spoon. You want to dig down, if you are doing this in a vegetable garden bed, you want to dig down four to six inches to get your sample. So what I've done is I've taken my sample of soil, I'm putting it in this little container here. I'm not totally sure why I need a middle container, but that's what the instructions said. Probably for messy people. Alright, so I've got a nice sample of soil in here. I've got my test kit, pretty standard looking. Taking my capsule out, this is the pH testing capsule. That in my hand. Okay, I'm going to add soil to my fill line my first fill line, which would be this line right here. This line right here. So I'm going to add soil to that. I suppose this is why I need a little container. It's pretty close. Okay, and we're back. Sorry, battery died on the camera. And so we had to plug it in, wait for it to charge, and the sun's going down outside now, so we're indoors finishing this experiment. <laughs> Sorry, disorganized, I know. All right. Outside, I filled this up to the first fill line with soil. So what's up next is this little capsule. It's our pH test capsule. I need to gently break it apart. How do I do this? How do I do this gently? Okay. And dump it in there. Cool. Cool. Okay. There we go. Soil. BH test powder. Yes. Okay. Next, water. Preferably distilled or bottled water of some sort. This will do. Let's pour this in here. We need to go up to the top fill line. Move your hand. Top fill line. One, two, three, four. This fill line is where I need to fill with water. Keep your hand out of the way. Use your other one. I can't. Oh. <laughs> Okay. Almost there. I like a drop. Maybe you should use the dropper that came with it. No. Droppers for another test. Don't. This is really uh, scientific here. Okay. I think we've thrown it off a bit. my powder in it. I'm losing it. All right. Lid goes on. <laughs> I'm no scientist. All right. Let's shake this up. Shake thoroughly. And then uh, let it rest. Okay. 
Letting it rest. Takes about a minute to rest, so the color develops and the sediment falls to the bottom. I'm so impatient. It's separating. Almost done. Almost done. All right. Think it's done, Randy? Think it's done enough to see? Yep. Okay. So, here's my test kit, where this is, that is looking right up there with between neutral and pretty alkaline, so it's not acidic at all. Alright, agreed, not acidic. Okay, in about 30 days time, I'm going to repeat this test. Now that we have mulch, wood mulch, on that bed, I want to see in 30 days time if it becomes more acidic with all that wood mulch. Alright, that's it. This is pretty alkaline. <laughs> Alright guys, um, subscribe if you like. Check us out on gettingtheirgreen.com. Visit us on Facebook to interact. It's facebook.com slash getting there green. We are running a contest right now. Make sure you check that out and uh, like our Facebook and invite your friends to like our Facebook to get extra um, times in the draw. And, uh, well, it's a referral contest. Yes. It is. You have to refer somebody. You have to refer somebody and then you and that somebody gets entered in the draw. Right. Check out our Facebook to see the rules how it's going to work, and yeah, see ya next time.